जय श्री माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेस बो डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अवर मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन श्री गणेश मंत्र Let us balance our left channel. Shimata ji, you are Sakshat Shri Ganesha. You are Sakshat Shri Mahakali. kindly balance our left channel
let us balance our right channel shri mata ji you are sakshat shri maha saraswati you are sakshat shri hanuman kindly balance our right channel let us bring our attention on sahasara move our attention from muladhara to sahasara on the central channel Shri Mata ji kindly give us the meditation state kindly bring us into complete balance Let's let us listen to Shri Mata Ji's speech. Merry Christmas to you all. According to Sahaja Yoga, Christ is settled on your Agra Chakra. His whole life is depicting the qualities of a person who is a realized soul and <laughs> what he has suggested in his own life is that you should not have any greed or lust The way these days people have greedy all over the world is really shocking. 
right from the childhood, our children also learn to ask for this or ask for that. Only complete satisfaction in life can give you that equanimity, that balance by which you do not hanker after it. These days even India has become very much westernized in the sense they are also very much wanting to have peace and that. Actually, now in America, suddenly it is happening. People are getting to spirituality. They come to spirituality because they think they have not found any satisfaction in it. But we have to see from his life, the great life of Christ. First he was born in a small little hut, as do so many of them when you come. Very much satisfied and he was put in a cradle, which was all covered with dry, very dry grass. Can you imagine? And then he sacrificed his life on the cross. Whole thing is a story of a sacrifice. Because he had a power, power of spirit, that he could sacrifice him. He even sacrificed his own life. So you can understand the greatness of Christ was coming from his great personality of spiritual. But the same Christ is worshipped all over the world, especially in the Western countries. And you'll be amazed to know how they are running after things. All their industries are running with big stories about what they make and how people boast of their well, they will have a cross in their necks to show that they are Christian. First of all, one should never bear that cross on which Christ was crucified. But they do make up by this hypocrisy and they are the another extreme of Christ. Not only they, but even their wives and their children are all very greedy. They should have this, they should have that. But now India is very much in the same land. And what do they ask for? They think by getting all these things around them, they will be very comfortable, it's not so. They are all the time happy and they cannot even enjoy whatever they have achieved. It is something very surprising that in a country like America, where there was no corruption, but 
the rare people who are making big, big, big money. They are supposed to be disciples of Christ. It's beyond me. India was once upon a time a real saintly country where saints were respected. But nowadays, India has fallen down to such a low level of greed. greed that impossible to understand these people. We can say they had not such a great following of Christ. And those who follow Christ also the Christians here. They are the worst. They are the ones who have taken to all kinds of Western life. Oh greed. And they call themselves Christians. But Christ has shown that he don't need anything in this world. He is such a great personality, such a great incarnation. Respected all everywhere by because his power of sacrificing was the highest. Not because he was owning a big car or any big house, nothing. Only because he was such a humble. His life is remarkable. And that today he governs the hearts of soul. Despite the fact he was born a very, very poor man and was crucified also as a very poor man. <clears throat> so those people who are running after money are no way Christians. Are nowhere near Christ. And so happy and joyous he was. And he helped the poor. He helped the needy. Because he understood their problems. Because he could free them. He tried to help all kinds of diseased people. Underprivileged. Why today's world has come to such a nonsense that they help countries to fight. They create Christianity to fight. What is Christianity doing in this country? It's just to create a big power of creating lots of Christians. I've heard from many places how they are converting people to Christianity. Christ never converted even a single He wanted to give transformation as you all have got it. But not changing the religion or changing your birthmark, no. And what did he achieve is this kind of a useless third rate people who are running after lust and greed. I get worried sometimes about myself that I hope my disciples and my children won't do things which are against the Lord, which are against the principles 
And one of the principles is that you have to help people, those who are downtrodden, those who are not yet realized. You have to give them realize. It is not the way the world is going on that we give help to people who are doing this. If you have to save this country, if you have to save the whole world, then we have to become like Christ. Tell them your sacrifice you have done. It should be a very, very powerful thing because you are all realized souls. Try to <coughs> develop that. A temperament of helping others. I have known some very great people in my life who were always willing to give to people who are not And they have been of such a great temperament, they were never sort of human in the speech of all of them. But very happy if they could help us. It's very, very sad today in this country where so many people have sacrificed their lives to achieve independence and freedom. And what is happening is now, today, same people, or maybe their children, maybe not the same, are supposed to be governing supposed to be in charge of making money. Why this situation has happened? In this country also we had many people who were extremely sacrificed. They were the leaders. But how many of you are like that? How many of you would like to give away something of yours to us. What would you do to help others? It's very sad that the Christian nations have never followed Christ and we also are becoming the same. I don't say that we should not do business or we should not make money. You can. But with all that, you must remember for whom are you doing it? What are you going to do with it? With this money, what are you going to do? Actually, we should find out at least in one year have we given up one of our things to others? Not that I say it was to buy yours. No. That's really too much. But can you at least sacrifice a little bit of your comfort for the people? Surgeries have to be extremely kind. Extremely kind and loving. If you are not that, you are not serious. First thing, you should be kind and loving. And understanding the problems around. And try to help as many people as you can. But that is not so. Even surgeries. <laughs> do not understand what is the value of that. They are on the same path as Christ was. They are realized souls. 
They must have that feeling. They must have that oneness with the rest of the people. And they should feel the sacrifice of Christ within them. How he sacrificed his life is to improve our life, to remove our ego, to fight our ego. But we are so interested. Whatever he has done is a waste, is something people don't understand and they do not even buy his character and his life. It's very bad. For us, he is a very great message for all the people who are realized souls. Is a very great example. There are so many things to be done. We have, as you know, my mind is always with the need. And I started maybe such organization. You know the way. Recently I started something for the destitute. And the orphans in Delhi. I paid most of them. But at just the finishing, I said, why not ask the devotees to pay that little money to finish? And they did. They did pay in Delhi. I must congratulate them for showing the way to other service. I was amazed how they could raise so much money for this big organization. It is something we never see how the women are suffering in our country, how the destitute women are suffering. They are left out by their husbands. For no quarter. Just like that. For some way, they are left on the street with the children. More than the Muslims, it's worse. And I felt very much that I should try to do something. At least bring the attention of the people to their lot and to their problem. So that they come up, they climb, and earn their living. I think it's a duty of all the service to go and see around who needs your help. Just don't live for yourself, earning for yourself, making money for yourself. But try to help. Help those people who can really be helped. And they should say, if the surgery is well done. So many ideas I have of helping people. And I'm going to try them with whatever money I have. But I wish you could decide to do something for them. Especially this country is divided into at least two parts. One is the rich and other. It's a very poor people. These very poor people just make my heart wrench. Wrench with pain. I don't know how to do it's such a vast community. But if you people decide, you can go around. Sit down. You can go around. And you can find out 
ways and methods of helping the people who are extremely poor. They need your help by all means. And you are capable. With the Mahalakshmi's presence, you are very great. But try to Try to help the people who are in great trouble. I know they are not sorry, please. Don't expect them to be sorry. They cannot. At the time of Christ, how many there were who were sorry? How many people were there who could understand the death of human problems? But Christ did, and He sacrificed His life for the sins of the people. It's a day to celebrate His birthday with very great joy. A water birth, a water life that He had to go through. Nobody would like. To have that kind of a life. But the essence of it was this. Running out of greed is madness. There's no end to it. Those who are greedy are greedy all the time. They are asking for money, asking for this, asking for that. Why not? See to others what do they want. Because we are in collective consciousness, we should understand what do these people want, what can we do for them.
atrás. Krishmataji for this beautiful collective meditation Jai Shri Mataji Let's bow down to Shri Mataji and take vandana is joined tomorrow sunday morning as we continue our collective meditation same time jai shri mataji